comma on the search engine and go down to that link to the video to click it, that will drive it back to the top. Here's the comments on the video. The resistance is alive. Do you see what we are capable of as a whole? Well, we're capable of a lot more than that. Resist oppression. Resist eugenics. Resist economic takeover. Promote freedom. Know what you're putting in your body. Grow up. Grow your own organic food. Get ready. This will be a long fight, but truth and light will prevail. God bless you all. And so uh, that's what uh, John CL1 said. And so it is back up. Let's send it to 7 million by tomorrow. Let's give it 500,000 more views, not just 100,000 by tomorrow. Go get the video. The Obama deception in high quality. It has 6,509,624 views before that gets taken down again, God forbid, and get it out to your email list. Send it out. Post it on message boards. Go everywhere and say, this is a censored video they don't want you to see. See, they took this down and it backfired. And some idiots, I've even seen mainstream news articles out there, Associated Content had a three-page article this morning trying to imply that I would do this. This isn't my stinking account. This is Kenneth Webb, who lives out in the country and can't even re-upload it because his Internet's so slow, he's got dial-up. It was already the number one search. It was everywhere. It was the number one search, the number one video. Why would I do that when you can't put it back up as a user? Only YouTube could put it back up. What is your major problem? We were already number one. There's censorship going on. Like, put that up on screen. 73,000 blogs taken down Thursday. 73,000 blogs pulled by the federal government. And they've got judges and lawyers on record saying there's no law to do this. The Justice Department just did it. 73,000 blogs gone. They are testing to see what we're going to do. You think, you think the establishment wants people to see what's in the Obama deception when it lays it all out and shows Obama at the Bilderberg Group meeting with Hillary a day before they made the announcement that she was dropping out? You think people, people that run this new world order want the population? There it is. U.S. authorities shut down blog site hosting 73,000 blogs because they talked about file sharing on the site. Because they talked about it. That's in the order. The system is scared right now. And they they talk in the Ministry of Defense report from 2007 about flash mobs on the ground, flash mobs in the web. And now they've got to take over the web to block the population from being able to take action. Now you need to search the term. They've, they've blocked out uh, the Obama deception and Obama deception censored. That's where that can't go into the top trends. So we've got to come up with other search terms that will lead people to the Obama deception. And my idea this morning was to have Steve Watson write an article with the title, Google Spies Censors Users. So you just search the term Google Spies, Google Spies, Google Spies. Those two words, Google spies, and it will lead them to an article where Google admittedly spies and censors users and censored us with our shopping cart selling the Obama deception. They're caught red-handed. And then when they click on that article, I'm going to have Steve Watson right now. It's an emergency. Call him. He needs to post in that article the full Obama deception that's back up with the headline saying it's back up. He needs to add that. So that when people then search this number one search term, they'll be taken to the Obama deception and they'll learn about Google and the NSA and what's going on. And some people say, well, if Google's the NSA, if Yahoo's admittedly in bed with the government and admittedly a year ago now takes orders directly from the Senate and the office of Lieberman on what to take down and what to put up, that, that was admitted. Why are you there? Because that's where the war is. People ask, why do you have an iPhone app that's free if iPhones spy on you, admittedly? Because that's what people got. That's how I reach them. That's like asking somebody in World War I on the line between the front lines with the French and the Germans, why are you fighting on the front line? Because that's where the war is. The war is on YouTube and Google. The war is on Yahoo. The war is on the Internet. 
And if you'll unleash the power you've got as individuals, we collectively can defeat these scumbags very quickly. We have got to get serious minds. We have to get focused minds. We have to have committed minds. When I was about 18 to 22, I went into a health kick, got out of it after that, started drinking, smoking. Few people do that, actually get in shape and they get completely out of it. I ran six miles every two, every other day. I lifted weights four days a week for two hours. And I power lifted. Uh, you know, I mean, I was a little guy at 180 pounds, but I could bench press 330, squat over 600. I could do over 40 chin-ups. And it's because I exercised my muscles and because I read books on power lifting and how it was psychological. And I went out with my UT football buddies who played football. I didn't play football. And I worked out with guys that were a lot bigger and stronger than me. And it was all about getting in the zone. A little old lady can squat a thousand pounds. She just doesn't believe she can. That's why they've had cases of women when they're kids squealing under a car. You know, police have witnessed hundreds of times a woman going, there's the whole car. And it's the same thing in the info war. It's that place in your mind. It's that place in your mind where you've got to trick it and flip it into survival mode and then nothing can stop you. It's that, it's that place. You've got to get your mind in a place. It's like when you're arm wrestling somebody. And if you try really hard, you're not going to beat them. It's, it's being in a place where you literally flip a switch that you're going to die. And I never understood it when I was able to do it innately as a primitive, as a throwback, as my late grandfather would call it. That it's, it's just you're doing it. It's going to happen. Now, when you run into somebody else who's doing like that, that's when people get killed. A lot of times it's going to be you. That's a problem. Anybody can turn this on, ladies and gentlemen. Anybody can turn it on. Now, you can do that when you're young. When you get old, you turn it on. You're going to pull arms out of sockets. You're going to, your muscles are going to tear off their joints if you're not in shape because the body can't handle it. You take a young, focused body. <laughs> It's the same thing. You have to have a cold where you just clench your teeth and just feel that electricity in your mind and your soul. You've just got to have that spirit of liberty and just say, I don't care what it takes. I'm going to realize how hard.